Well, the storm has made it to us. I thought it was gonna start earlier, but it's now midnight and it's just now made it to us. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Lucky, lucky, who is that, Momo? <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> um, so you can probably take your, uh, you can pull around there and take your car off and then turn around or whatever you want to do. I figured you would go there um, between those two walls and then Jeff could I uh, could fit next to you or okay. you go over here next to us. So should I just pull in here and then take my truck yeah, off? Yeah, that's fine if you okay. want to do that. Hey. Hey. It's good to see you. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> Moo's like, hello! Hey, Moo Moo. What you doing, baby? <laughs> Alright, we should let her swing by. Okay. Alright, Moo Moo, get back in there. Hey, Squeaky McSqueakin. Winter! <laughs> what you doing, Winter? Oh my goodness, Winter! What is that? You excited, Moo Moo? Huh? Hey everyone, Audrey here from Pandemonium. We've come to our friends Jennifer and Jason's mom's house to visit with them for a little bit. Jennifer and Jason have stayed with me on my property before. Luckily, their mom has a huge driveway or parking area. So Jeff is by Jennifer and Jason and I'm parked over here by the house. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. What happened? We've come to Northfield Winery with Jennifer and Jason to check it out. Definitely a cute place. They've got honey, wine, cheese, and some other canned goods. Pickled garlic. Ooh, is that pickled? Ooh, pickled beets. I love pickled beets. Ooh. Wine and cheese, the glue that holds my life together. That's cute. They have these cute cheese boards with the cutter already built in. Wow, that's a huge old barrel there. Oh, look at all the old coolers they have underneath. Coca-Cola. What is it? Pure lard. Ooh, they even have hot pepper relish. 
That's funny. I don't have a beer belly. I have a wine barrel. For those of you that don't like alcohol, they actually have grape juice. Uh, yeah, they have the dark and the light. What? Frog jam, toe jam, traffic jam. That's funny. Jason was just talking about this. They have a wine called Shag Nasty. How was the cider? Pretty good. good. Very cider-y. Nice. I tried the, a couple of them, but I like the Reuben's Red the best. It's pretty dry. I don't like sweet, sweet. Ooh, for my crystal tree, but I already have these on there. A couple of them. That's an interesting bottle holder. I guess this is a fermentation room. What a cute place. I like how they actually let you taste it. Well, I guess that's what wine tasting is anyways. I guess that's for when the weather's good. They have a huge barn out there. I guess that's for wine tasting or picnicking or events. They even have an old cool cabin. And of course, you need the outhouse. Wow, this is much nicer than where we were. They have a huge tasting room, a banquet area, probably for events, and also a baby grand piano. They have such fun signs. I don't wear glasses, I empty them. Well, I guess a lot of people from all over the place have been here, especially from the East Coast, since we are on the East Coast. Look at all the pins, that's crazy. Not as many, let me see how many Arizonians have been here. Well, a little bit, a lot of. Californians. Oh, what is the, what is that thing? Is that that's Colorado? <laughs> My liquid diet isn't working so far. I've only lost three weeks. Oh wow, they have a huge fermenting room. For twenty five dollars, they have a happy hour special, and you get one thing of cheese and crackers and two flights of wine. This is their flight of wine here. You get two of those. Oh, that's cute. Feed your soul, not the bears. <laughs> Look at the bears driving. So here's their story. If you want to pause and read, sometimes it's less expensive to build a winery than to keep your wife supplied with wine. That's too funny. That's a lot of wine. So they have garden cheese that Jen's cutting into now, which I've tasted already. is really yummy. And then they have the Black pepper? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's really good too. Is it really good? Yeah, we had that last time. It was a good one. Nice. They do have a second story, and there's the lower half there. I think they're getting ready to have some kind of event. Beautiful place. So how do you feel after all that wine there, Jason? It's been fine. I'm going to drive on the way to the next place. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Okay. How do you feel after all the cheese there, Jen? <laughs> Very good. Yeah. The cheese was good. Mm -hmm. What a lovely place that was. I had a lot of cheese and some crackers and a little bit of wine. And the garden cheese was awesome. It tasted really good. But we're going to go get some dinner now. And if y'all didn't know, this is part of Harvest Host. And they do have a lot right across the street. What's going on over there, huh? It's from the cheese. Oh, is he, is he licking you because of cheese, not because he missed you? <laughs> Wow, the closer it gets to night, the more the temperature does drop. But we are supposed to be getting into warmer weather coming up soon.
really? We've come here to Spanky's. What an unusual name. Thank you. So we're starting with some Caesar salad and sweet tea. Oh my God, look at their cheesy bread that they just brought out. <laughs> that looks, looks like cake. <laughs> it does look like cake, it is so good. Yeah. That looks yummy. Thank you. Ended up getting the chicken and shrimp Alfredo. But it's a beautiful day, so we thought we would go and do some exploring have to shut my door. decided to come to Burgess Fall, which is a historic site. It's been here for a while. They've got a bunch of old, cool photos. Burgess Fall was also a power generator. Some of the pictures date back to 1922. The history of Burgess Falls can be traced back over three centuries. Oh wow, it's a long time before European settlement and Indians of Cherokee, Creek, and Chickasaw tribes shared this region as a hunting ground. One of the first white settlers, Thomas Burgess, received a land grant here in 1973. Here's the parking area right here, and here's the first set of falls, not far from the parking area. Then there's Second Falls, the former location of Flume Pipe, Big Falls, and Big Falls Overlook. I'm actually really excited to see it. It's such a beautiful place. So all the red buds are in bloom here. So yeah, pretty. What, what are these? Red buds, oh, okay. Eastern red buds, I believe. We were wondering if they were cherry blossoms. But... Jennifer and Jason have actually been here before, so they decided to take us here. All right, I'm ready whenever y'all are. Okay. They do have a pavilion with picnic tables and restrooms. So this is the first set of falls. How beautiful is that? It's a pretty wide river. Seems like a popular place. So cool. Guess I should catch up to the group. Oopsie. Oh, I guess that's the main stairs. They took that. There's a secondary path. Cool. Oh, that's nice. There's an unobstructed shot of the falls. Mumu, did you find some grass? <laughs> she doesn't care about the waterfalls. So we're gonna go up there where the other waterfalls are, but this is definitely a popular place. Popular! Popular. <laughs> you definitely have to watch your footing. There's a lot of rocks and roots. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I was telling Jeff that if I remember right, uh, the things that you were looking at over there? Yeah. Uh, this, I believe, was a high-pressure flue pipe that they ran from the dam to the power station. Oh, cool. So it went over this bridge and went through the, the mountain. I mean, you know, the, the plumbing and the power plants are all gone. Oh, uh, OK. It was uh, gone. There's the old suspension bridge and the secondary waterfall. This thing is loud.
So here's some information about the suspension bridge if you want to pause and read. We have a very cool wooden deck or walkway. Wow, look at all the cool stone with moss all over it. There's another view of the secondary falls. You can see the suspension. Oh, this looks precarious. Wow, look at that. Looks like it could fall at any moment. Huh. I'll stay to the edge. Oh my god, this place is super cool. <laughs> yeah, a lot of big routes. It's kind of an awkward path. Yeah, we usually go on the other route, but this, one, this way is prettier. No? Yeah, this one's definitely more scenic. Yeah. You get to lock, walk along the river, but they do have a more accessible path up top. Yeah, and also if you're disabled, they have a parking area like right at the falls. Oh, cool. So while we're here, hopefully we get to see a few waterfalls. There's another place, but it's a mile hike in, I believe. So that one's a little more strenuous. Yeah, the trails can get a bit congested at times, especially when there's a larger group coming through. Yeah, the other one that's not as interesting to just go see the forest is a uh, wider is wider yeah, sure. i'm excited to see that one too because that one's actually a taller waterfall where this is a wider yeah. and uh, not as tall oh cool oh wow i guess it starts well this is the other waterfall uh the the storm drain is the other waterfall yeah. <laughs> well other than the storm drains up top it's actually very beautiful Oh my God, this would be so amazing back home. <laughs> That'd be very expensive to recreate. But I love the natural falls, it's beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the gardens we went to in my last video on my other channel. Had something similar. But this one is definitely a hundred times better because it's natural-ish. Jason was just pointing out that this is a great time of year to come because there are no mosquitoes. Yeah, look at this. That is absolutely gorgeous. Be careful, Mumu. This is all wet here. You definitely have to be careful. I'm glad we took this lower trail. Definitely more scenic and shaded. I don't know how the upper trail is. I just asked Jason about the other trail. He said that one is shaded as well. Another waterfall and a stream that leads down to the main river. I was thinking that this was a short trail, but it's actually pretty involved. There's stairs, roots, rocks. It's awesome though, I love it. And it's not that strenuous. Oh wow, look at this waterfall here. Well, it's kind of a trickle, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, well, I was wrong. This staircase here is a little bit strenuous and it goes way up there, wow. Climb, climb, climb. Stairmaster 2000. Oh. Well, I do like getting my exercise in. Now, this is not a loop, so we do have to come back this way. Whew. I'm a bit out of breath. The path does get a bit congested, like I mentioned earlier. So up here, they do want you to stay on the trail because there are a lot of ledges. Oh, this is much better. Oh. Oh, I think we're coming to the other falls, the main falls. 
I thought this was the main waterfall, but Jason said it wasn't. So that's still beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so Burgess Falls Overlook is, I guess, down this stairway. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry, we get to go back up again. Oh, and then back up. Yay! Yeah. I thought you said this wasn't a complicated one. Yeah, this is a warm up for tomorrow, Jeff said. Oh, look at the heart on the root of this tree. Seems that's a common occurrence. That's actually not good for the tree, I don't believe. So this part of the trail seems more relaxed and an easier walk. I guess the other one wasn't too bad. It's just the stair part was a little steep. I think we've made it to the falls overlook and I think we'll wait a bit. It's a little bit busy. There's another path that leads down. I think you just get a side shot of the falls. I don't know how far it goes. Look at there are people actually kayaking down there. How cool. That's a long way down. Look how beautiful the falls are. Look at that kayaker there. She's just enjoying it by the falls. Really pretty. Oh, the plants right there. They're probably some kind of water plant that don't mind their roots wet. And it, it looks like that rock blocks it from the water washing those away. Yeah. Wow, amazing. So Jason said that he got mistaken that this is actually the main falls that he thought we were going to do tomorrow. And right. the other one is the smaller I falls. I know, they start blending together. <laughs> yeah, I get that. There are several here. That. Look at the rock wall over there. Definitely amazing. Look, it looks like people have lost things down there. There's a, a child's shoe and a hat. Where's the GoPro? <laughs> There's a lot of bottles and cans. Shameful, shame, shame. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely a great way to see the falls, is by canoe or kayak. All right, one more look at the falls. So I think I just heard someone talking about that. They think this leads down to the falls. We're just going to go check out a little bit of it. Oh, look at that root system there. That looks dangerous. Hey, right, Mama. Go ahead. I think that's where the path leads, is down there. See that rock area? That flat rock area? Oh, really die there? Oh my goodness. See, yeah, uh, they say no water access, which means no swimming. Because it's right above the falls, and that could be very dangerous. Oh, a lot of stairs going on here. All right, well, we made it. Awesome. I can't believe someone would actually try to swim in that. The current has to be very strong. You know someone has to have tried it or they wouldn't have put the signs up. They have a metal rope here and falling will cause injury or death. Stay off the cliff. Okay, well, I can see where people would want to dip right here because there's a ledge and it looks actually very nice. But Jason said that sometimes there are flash floods that come through and I could see it washing someone downstream and over the falls. Yeah, you can kind of see where the water comes up from time to time. Yeah. yeah. This place is awesome. I'm glad we got the full experience. We're going to head back up. Oh my God, whose idea was this to come down all these stairs? This was Jen's idea. Yeah, Jen. Jen's idea. <laughs> I know, it was mine. Bad idea. Oh my God, it's deep. <laughs> Giving the dogs some water. That was a hike up that hill. Oh. Yeah, my Enjoying your water, Moo Moo, huh? Yes. Oh, 
Wait, is that for them or for, oh, for us? Oh, okay, give me one. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm, beef jerky. We ended up going to a winery and getting a bottle of wine, and also Jeff bought a charcuterie platter. And we were going to bring it here, but they do not allow alcohol in the park. Actually, I don't think any public areas in Tennessee allow alcohol. So um, we're going to save it for a fire back at Jennifer and Jason's mom's place. So that's the lower trail that we were on. And this is the upper trail. It is paved so you can drive on it. I don't think anybody drives on it though. Okay, now I know why there was culverts put because there's a stream and then there's this cement pad for crossing. And there's the top of the culverts. There's the bridge we were on. And back to the suspension bridge. There's the lower path down there that we were on. So there's an overlook here at the top. Very cool. Come to Achilles Grill to grab some lunch. Definitely need it after that. Oh, cool! They have euros here. Oh, that's basically what they have. Oh, they have a chicken meal, huh? Ooh, double burger and some salad plates. Got the number eleven, which was the Philly cheese. Um, so what is it? Shawarma. 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 Yeah, it's so it's meat basically with. Uh, on top of rice. And Jeff got the number five. What is that one? It's beef and lamb. Beef and lamb, gyro style, but it's a shawarma as well. Mm. Oh my God, look at the cheese on this. That looks so good. That's why I got the Philly, because I was going to get the same thing as Jeff, but I, I wanted the cheese on top of it. Ooh, and the onions. It looks so delicious. Jason got a gyro with, wait, what kind of gyro is it? Uh, it's a uh, gyro fajita plate. A year of fajita plates and with, with home, home fries. fries, yeah. And Jennifer, I she got to, nothing. I got, got nothing. I know. Well, they <laughs> had to send it back and say it was the wrong thing. This is the second restaurant we've been to that right. <laughs> we've had issues. She's just really difficult. I am very difficult. <laughs> Jen got the oh, okay. catfish yeah, sandwich. That looks pretty, that pretty good, good, actually. Yeah, it does. I don't think I've had catfish before. I usually don't like it, so you'll let right. let me know how it tastes. Jen gave me a piece I'm going to try. I don't know. I don't think I had a deep fried last time and I did not like it, but that's not bad, actually. Maybe it was a condiment. Yeah. Here he goes. Yeah. <laughs> Smoky fire time. Yeah. <laughs> well, we get it going, but our firewood is also wet. Yeah, we, um, it's just started, so hopefully once we get some good embers going. And we've got the charcuterie, a board. A board. Uh, not a cooterie board, it's a charcuterie. So we have the different, there's four meats, two cheeses here. Did we bring a knife to cut the cheese? Oh, uh, oh no, I dropped it. This is the, I'll go get a cutting board. it's salami, but there's different ones. There's a Italian dry, um, what does that say? Preferred? Oh God, it smokes in my eyeball. And... Calabrese. Oh my god, I can't. The eye, uh, yeah. 
It's in my eyeballs. <laughs> it's okay. God, I was trying to read that and it was going right in my eyeballs. I think the wind was blowing this way. It's changed direction now. This is the wine that we got from the winery. It's a Merlot. Herb cheese is really good. The blueberry cheese is kind of unusual, like especially by itself, but if you put it with a cracker, it's the salt makes it taste better. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot about the meat. <laughs> oh, this looks good. Wait, let me grab. Oh, just one, two. Some more of that cheese, Thank you. Momo, mm -hmm. you look so comfortable. Did you steal Kellogg's bed? <laughs> Little bed thief, you. <laughs> the blueberry cheese is really good with the cracker and a piece of salami. Fire's still smoking away. Oh. Oh, that's a good idea. Put a fan to it. Oxygen. Woo! Yeah. We're on fire. Let's do that. We got the fire going. Jake had bought me these tools for my birthday. They're like torture chamber kind of um, fire tools. I mean, look at that one. Got the hook on that. That's kind of dangerous. And there's teeth on the wood grabber. Up, oh, up. Oh, we might actually have something. I put a chimney on there to get the heat going and restack the wood. Oh, here it goes. Chimney in effect. Don't touch the chimney. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't fall over by now. Come on. He's over here in the bush, sniffing for lizards and frogs. Around, huh? Wow. That's nice. It's like a fire demon. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jake. I said we need Jake here. For his awesome tools that he gave me for my birthday. Yeah, let me show you. Look at, wait, hold on. You can probably see it now that it, that fire's going. I don't know if you can see that. See, there's teeth in there. Oh, there you go. That looks dangerous. But it works. Oh, yeah, we're just going to enjoy the fire. It feels nice now, and the smoke is not as much. Yeah, that's the thing. 